to referee. There was a distinct swagger about Angelos Martinos yesterday at the press conference. He does have experience on paper over Taito Gunji. But when it comes to calibre of opposition he's faced, Gunji has it no. over the first round of action, they touch gloves. A featherweight super fight set for three by three. One extra round in case of a draw. Martinos continuing a proud tradition of Greek fighters in K1 history. The likes of Stan the Man Longanides, Tarsus Tosca Petridis, and of course, Iron Mike Zambidis. Inside leg kick from Taito Gunji. Martinos has a very good right cross on him. If he can get it off here on Gunji. Gunji's hands up high as well. They should be here, Mike. Yeah, I mean, you have to imagine. He's just uh, in there gaining input. I mean, I'm, I'm imagining that Gunji's just looking him up and down like the Terminator, ready to dispatch it at a moment's notice. Outside leg kick from Martinos. If there is one thing that has always characterized Greek kickboxers, it is the left hook. And let's see what left hook Martinos possesses. Zambides was renowned for his stand the man Longanides. It was his patented left hook that won him so many fights. Outside leg kick there from Martinos. Handling himself well so far in the opening minute 15. Body shot from Taito Gunji. It's almost like you're in there, Michael. I mean, he's throwing his left hooks immediately after you said it. Shot to the six o'clock there on Taito Gunji. a little too serious, but he will get a moment here to shake the old John Smalls back into place. Make sure everything is situated correctly. Martinos gives him a little nod in apology. Just the top of the ankle, the bottom of the shin, connecting to the cup of Taito Gunji. We're okay to go on here in the first round. <laughs> Angelos Martinos has to try and use the reach advantage. You can see the length in the arms on the Greek fighter. Seven centimeters taller than Taito Gunji. Five foot seven, Martinos. Five four, Gunji. Body shots from Gunji. Nice knee, folds him with the knee! He folded him with the knee! Was it a coin strike? I thought it hit the body. I couldn't see it from this angle, but my goodness, he just went right down. That, I'm, I'm going to imagine that that's a low blow just based on the way that the ref is looking at him. There's no count by the referee, and Tunji is clutching the private parts. Let's have a look here. Yeah, so it looks like it's gone to the groin and then rid of that from our angle. It looks like it's in the body, but it's a groin strike here. Second groin strike by Martinos in the last 60 seconds. Both accidents, there's no balance in them at all, but still... This one's slightly harder, I dare say, than the first. Uh, certainly, I mean, we're, we're into most of this round being uh, breaks for uh, for coin strikes right now. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's hope we can regroup with this. I don't know how much uh, time he has to recover because that was a relatively hard shot. So, hopefully, it doesn't shift the angle of this match too much. It shifted the angle of something, Mike. I won't say what, but uh, I'm sure you can get it. We felt it from up here. So, Gunji just shaking everything back into place. The second strike south of the border that Taito Gunji has taken in this round. The man from Itabashi in the Tokyo Metropolis. 23, 5 and 1 record, 6 knockouts, a 26% KO ratio for the K1 featherweight champion. Certainly, though, Martinos could not afford a third groin strike against Gunji. Good outside leg kick from the Greek. Body shot from Gunji. I was going to say he's probably on thin ice at this point. I mean, after two body shots, first of all, Taito Gunji's pretty pissed off. Have a look at Martinos, though. Not afraid to stand toe to toe and juke it out with Taito Gunji. He wants to be inside the phone booth, does the Greek. Not backing away from the rapid fire hand combinations of Taito Gunji. No, he's not messing around right now. He's ready to bang. 
Body shots from Gunji. Good left hand. Martinos gets back to Centuri. Body shots again from Gunji, battering both sides of the carcass. Just a slip in centre ring for Martinos. Gunji's got speed. Little shot from an outside fly kick. Martinos goes high. Looping left hand from Martinos to a front kick. Rib kick there from Martinos. Right hand collects him on the orbital. Overhand right from Gunji. End of the round, a current round for the testicular area of Taisei Gunji. And not a bad first impression from Angelos Martinos. No, shocking to be honest with you. I mean, I was not seeing that coming, but he really stepped in, and the second half of that round was as good as I've seen today. They really went toe to toe. Incredible. Speed and the technique. It's characterized K1 Max back in the day as pound for pound the greatest era in kickboxing. Mike, if you were in the corner of Taito Gucci, what are you telling me 24 year old for two minutes rap? Ish, I mean, yeah, he's, he hasn't done much in the way of wrong. I think he's unfortunately had, uh, had some low blows that have taken the wind out of his sails a little bit, but hopefully he's had some time to bounce back from that. And now, going into the second round, hopefully he can get back up to speed and really uh, make his mark. Second round of action. Gunji staring down Martinos from across the ring. It is a featherweight super fight. And Martinos continue the momentum he had in the first round. Nice left hand to outside fly kick combination. It really is the bread and butter technique they teach you in your first kickboxing class. Jab to leg kick. And it doesn't matter what level you are, Mike, whether you're amateur or elite, it works every time. Jab, leg kick, jab, leg kick, the old one, you know, the old jab, bread and butter, leg kick combination. We saw Hoos do it in the day, we saw Ertz do it in the day, Semi Schult used to do it in the day, and he was a big component of it back in the day as well. I mean, yeah, of course, you, you got to go bread and butter. Um, it's, what, it's what's been working forever. Uh, some of these guys get very fancy with things, but at the end of the day, you do those two things right, and you just knock people out. Although in Martinos's case, it might be a more bread and tzatziki. Round kicks there from both men. Gunji, right hand lead, left over the top, solid work. Good counter right hand from Martinos. A lot of people thought that Angelos Martinos would be out of his depth today at Yokohama Arena. You saw the highlight reel. You saw the small regional shows that Martinos has been a part of over in Europe. But he is really taking it up to Taito Gunji. Gunji getting backed up by that right hand leg kick combination. Yeah, if anything, I mean, it really speaks to the scouters of, uh, of K1 that they were able to go out and find someone of this caliber, uh, relatively unknown, but my goodness, he's really gone in there and is uh, is laying into uh, Taito Gunji right now. Gunji on the inside, step across the outside, fly kick that lead leg, front kick off the lead leg from Gunji. Martinos fakes the low kick. Martinos coming off a great year in 2022, had back-to-back -back wins over Lumbus Dingas and Becca Gabasanoya. Right hand from Martinos. Big right hand again, sat down on that one. Just testing the jaw of Gunji. Checks the low kick. Right hand again, backs up Gunji. Gunji trying to explode forward with these rapid fire combinations. Martinos again sticks in with that right hand once more, curls it around the back of the left glove. There's the right hand again to the kisser. Oh, they're, they're just throwing it so well. I mean, honestly, Martinos is just really in there, just leathering him. Good overhand left from Tito Gunji. Martinos knees on the inside. There's one from Gunji, and it's a return favor. Here is your strike to the nether regions. And there's the receipt. I mean, you had, you had to imagine it was coming in. But we made it uh, halfway into, or more than halfway into the second round at this point before uh, this became an issue. But Well, it must have been the bottom of the shin riding up and connecting to the three Kalamata Olives of Angelos Martinos because the knee hit him in the midsection. It didn't look intentional. I mean, none of these have been with malice necessarily. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, unfortunately to keep disrupting the flow of an unbelievable fight. 
I've got to say, it is my first time seeing yeah. Timos Bolle fight, and I am impressed. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I did not see it coming. He's uh, out of nowhere. And here we go. Taito Gunji. More combinations than a Sudoku puzzle. And look at the counter right hand from Martinos. Now toe to toe. Gunji gets on the inside. Lands the right hand. And Martinos goes right back down. Toe to toe they go. What a way to win that round. Hell of a round, my goodness. Right at the end. Dozens of punches. What a great, great fight we have here as a setup for even more fights for this K1 GP tonight. I looked round kick from Martinos. Looping left hand to a straight right cross from Kunji and Martinos backed him off afterwards. Tremendous result from Angelos Martinos. One more round to go. Kunji taking a stool in his corner. Martinos standing. Do you ever read anything into that fight? One fighter stands, one fighter sits. You have to imagine. I mean, they, they, this definitely is adding up. I mean, they, they've, they've had some uh, serious issues going into this. I mean, gunji has been rattled around a little bit. So uh, it doesn't surprise me to see him sit down for a moment, collect his thoughts, but I don't know. I think he's ready to throw. Third and final round of this K1 featherweight super fight. Taito Gunji, Kelos Martinov, Japan versus Greece. From inside the Yokohama Arena. Martinos comes out with a jab. Gunji with a leg kick. Good outside guy kick from Martinos. Gunji on the outside early here. Martinos again scoring with those leg kicks. Chad two falls short, body shot, tucks it under the elbow to Martinos. Outside leg kick, almost buckled that lead leg of Gunji. Overhand right from Martinos. Gunji backs him off with a right. Martinos needs to go back to that lead leg, Mike. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's making a massive statement right here. 21 years old. What technique. This unknown Greek fighter, never heard of outside of Greece is making a name for himself in Japan today at K1 Rebirth. Takes a front kick, eats that left hand. Kunji sitting against the ropes, there's the leg kick again, tenderizing the quad. Now goes the inside five. That lead leg of Kunji looks like it's been sunburned. It is reddened from the leg kicks of Angelos Martinos. Yeah, I mean, Gunji really has to step up. He's only got a minute 43 right now, and uh, it's not looking good. He's throwing wildly. That lead leg is banged up. Martinos has got to go back to the legs to slow down the boxing of Taito Gunji. That's how you stop a puncher. That's how you stop a boxer. You take out their legs. Big right hand from Gunji. On cue, he responds. All good punches start from... The soles of the feet come up through the legs, power through the body, through the arm and out through the knuckles. If you can take out a puncher's legs, you effectively close down their boxing ability. Yeah, you got it right there. I mean, Gunji is, uh, he's throwing bombs, but it, they're, they're not as solid as they were in the earlier rounds. He just doesn't have the ability right now. He's so shot with that leg. That said, the last 45 seconds or so, Taito Gunji has lifted the pace. Martinos is going to bring it home strongly now for the final 45 seconds. He's got to go back to that lead thigh. Rocks the head back to Gunji. Goes the liver. Step through knee. Martinos takes another groin strike. I think the groin count is to all now. This fight, unfortunately, is going to remember for uh, for groin strikes, amongst other th uh, not not so good things. But I mean, th this was a real come out for Martinos in a lot of different ways. But yeah, I mean, the the flow has really been disrupted right here, just consistently. So again, I think it's the top of the shin hitting the cuff of Martinos because the knee was landed flush to the abdomen of the Greek fighter. Remember the old days, uh, Mike, when someone got a really bad green strike and the doctor would come in and have the towel 
Mate, surrounding with the towel and the old trunks that go down and yeah. just hand would come out and uh, you can imagine the rest. Well, I, uh, you, know, I, you know it was always bad when the towel came out. I try not to think about it, but yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is one of those days where you, you'd, you'd imagine it, uh, the towel would be coming out. This would be a... a you do a, not want the towel no. to emerge. So still on the third and final round of what has been an amazing contest. Martinos has got to go back to the lead leg of Gunji. Gunji backs him up with rapid fire techniques again. He wants a boxing contest on the inside. Wants to stay in the pocket as Taito Gunji. Martinos, good harpoon of a right hand. Left hook from the Greek. Gunji stepped through me. Best round of the fight so far for Taito Gunji. Is it enough? He's got seven seconds to prove it. I think he needs a knockdown. Outside leg kick Gunji. And a head kick from Angelus Martinos. There have been some very tight decisions tonight. Mike, that said, I would not be surprised if this one's called the next round. That's a very good point. Um, and even right at the end of that, Martinos put his stamp on uh, Taito Gunji's face with a little bit of a uh, quick kick, quick little snap right there. Oh. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is one that could definitely go to another round, and I'd love to see it, just minus any groin strikes. Dachi Yamazaki, 30 30 There's one draw. Dachi Hagozaki, 30 29 Ankar Gunji! One for Gunji. Jatsu Yamane. 30 tai. 20. Ankar Gunji! Is your hate? 2 tai de o motsumashite. So sha Ankar Koda. Gunji edges it. That is heartbreaking for Angelos Martinez.